Welcome back to the Miskatonic Test Lab. I'm Jake, and today I'm showing you how to add custom content to Likey CCG. So I've gotten a few requests uh, to show people how to do this, and I'm happy to oblige. Basically, there are three main steps. Downloading and formatting image files, filling the card data into the card data.txt file. That's like the file name and the um, name of the card. Adding it all into the plugin, and that's pretty much it. So let's get into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is find your files. This could either be something that you've created, or you can find something from ArkhamCentral.com. We're going to go with uh, Stranded in Urals Part 2 by Nicholas Corey. It's important that for Lackey, you, find, you have files that are single card images, as opposed to a PDF with a bunch of images. The next thing you're going to want to do is resize all of your images once they're downloaded. This is, you can keep them uh, a big size, but uh, all of the Lackey CCG cards are 300 by 419 pixels. That's just something that, that was there from a, a previous template that I was using. And you probably want to keep resolution at about 600 since we are um, cutting these cards in half, essentially. I'm using the preview app that comes uh, default on Macs, and you can bulk uh, resize images by selecting all of them, opening them all up at the same time in preview, selecting all of them in the left hand panel right there as you can see, um, and then going to tools, adjusting image size, and of course for horizontal cards you're going to want to make it the opposite dimensions, 419 by 300. Next you're going to want to select all of the cards that you have and rename them something easy and something uniform. This is just going to help later on. So I select them all, right click, and you can rename, it'll say rename 64 items or something like that, and rename them all something uniform. I, I did WW underscore SIU underscore and then a number. And there's actually a little option there to add a, a, a number so it goes in numerical order all the way up, all the way through all of the cards. Another very important thing at this point is to rename all of your files .jpg instead of .png or .jpeg. It's only, Lackey's only going to recognize .jpg. It's, it's a little bit of a hassle, but it's worth it. All right, now that we have the images formatted, you're going to find the carddata.txt file by clicking on Lackey CCG, going to Plugins, going to AHLCG, going to Sets, and getting that carddata.txt. Now, you're going to want to make a copy of this before you open it in Excel. You're going to want to make a copy of it and put it somewhere you'll remember. I'll put it in my Stranded in Urals folder. And then open the copy in Excel. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and start inputting your card data starting with the name, then the name of the set that the, that the card is in, then the next column is the name of the actual files, the fourth column is how many copies there are, the fifth column is the type of card there, that it is. And the fifth column, or sixth column, is the name of the entire set. For example, stranded in urals. You're going to want to make sure that each uh, double-sided card is counts as just one card for the sake of the row. So one location, for example, deep drift, no matter what, if it, even if it has a different uh, back of the name, you don't separate it into two different rows. It just goes into one row. And when you're adding the actual file name uh, into the third column, you want to put uh, double-sided cards with the front uh, card, uh, the, the name of the file for the front card first, separated by a comma with no spaces, and then the name of the back side file. Okay, so I'll show you an example. See, I'm doing that now. For example, it would be like ww underscore siu underscore one, comma ww siu underscore two. Locations should be inputted with their unrevealed side as the front. You put the file name of the unrevealed side first and then the revealed side second, separated by a comma. Once all of the data has been inputted into this uh, copy that you made of carddata.txt, copy it with command C and go back to the original carddata.txt that's in the plugin, open that with a text editor, so not with Excel, scroll all the way down to the bottom, making sure to wait until it's fully loaded because I know my computer sometimes is a little slow about loading it because it has to do like spell check or something, so just wait. Make sure you get all the way down to the bottom, click on the very bottom, make sure you right arrow all the way to the, to the end of the white space, and then hit 
enter or return to go down to the next line and command V or paste all of it in there and now you'll see that it's all been inputted hopefully into the uh, real carddata.txt. Now that your carddata.txt is all set up you want to make sure that your images are where they need to be so that carddata.txt can find them. So in sets and then in set images that's where all of your images live you're going to want to put your new folder which is named uh, ww underscore siu for example um, right where like he can find it and now it's time to test so when you open it up you go to the deck editor first of all if there's no cards if there's no card names in this deck editor area something went horribly wrong and you're gonna want to try to start over but it should look like this where everything's in uh, lackey and you can start assembling your uh, encounter deck and location deck etc I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you have any other suggestions for any type of Lackey-based tutorials um, on my channel, feel free to let me know as well. Thank you.